episode from a certain TV show, and I acted on my channel with LPS. It's pretty cool and original. I kind of came up with it. I mean, if other LPS students did it, it was fine, but I just thought of this episode, but please enjoy the show. Bye. I'm gonna miss you too, sweetie. They're going back to school, huh? They're going back to school, huh? They're going back to school, huh? Niles, this sandwich feels stale. I made it in June. Oh, Niles. Fran, how do I look? Gorgeous, honey. Oh my gosh, you got it so tall. Looks like someone has to clean the Empire State Building. Shut up, Brighton! Sorry I'm late. I had to talk on the phone with my therapist. I had the unicorn dream again last night. Oh, honey, a unicorn is a horse with a long... Forget it. All right, children, the limo's waiting. Time to go to school. Bye, Fran. Bye, Fran. Bye, Fran. I miss fine. Summer vacation just flew by. Oh, I can't believe we're starting school again, said the man who never seen The Lion King 257 times. She was working in a bridal shop, flushing queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crashing scenes. Where she'd go, where was she to go? She's out on her panty. So a British flushing did a shop old store. She was there to sell makeup, but her father saw more. She had style, she had flair, she was there too. She became the nanny. Who would ever guess that the girl we described? Which is exactly what the doctor prescribed. Cause you better watch out, CC. And the kids are actually smiling some French words. She's a lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl for flushing. The nanny named Fran. No more pog. No more Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. No more Nintendo. Niles? I hammered it with a meat mallet six months ago. Niles, how could you? Oh, they retired John John. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, look, you're on the third bachelor's list. Let me take a look at that. You know, I never thought I'd be saying this, but I kind of actually miss the kids. Shut up, Brighton! Take it back. How was school, honey? Wonderful, Fran. They opened a coffee shop across the street, and they only hired cute college guys. Bah, wonderful, honey. Fran, second grade is wonderful. The conversations on the monkey bars are so sensational. Ah, wow, Gracie. Hey, Junior High, I'm never going back again. He'll go back, right? B, don't you want to talk about it? No way, it's too embarrassing for a girl. B, you can talk to me. Anything that you say goes no farther than this room. I'm like a priest. Well, not exactly like a priest, but I am. All right, all right, I'll tell you. So it was after gym, and we were in the locker room. Fran, I'm smaller than everyone else. B, you're not. Oh my gosh. Oh well, well, I better go. Mr. Sheffield, we have a problem on our hands, and boy, you're never going to guess this one. Hmm, what could this problem be? Ted thinks he's smaller than everyone else. I thought he had big feet. I'm going to have to talk with him. Miss Fine, you're probably right. We should have a talk about it. 
Yeah, I guess so. Right, and we perhaps should have this talk about being small. Um, did Fran tell you? Oh, she sure did. Questions? Where's my Nintendo? Hey, Val, for some chance, can you carry my blush? Only if you carry my mace. But I thought your mace was in your pocket. My raincoat is in there. Oh my gosh, look at him, Val. Wow, so handsome, red, young. He's only 42. I know, but he's like so nice. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, can you for some chance come to the club with us? Yeah, it will be really fun. No, I have a lot of work to do. Please, Mr. Sheffield, please. Maggie, you want to go get ice creams and get bananas, peanuts on them? Dad, it's kind of the first day of school. I just want to hang out with some kids and have some fun. Hi, Maggie. Have fun. Well, Mr. Sheffield, you're coming to the club with us for sure. Oh, great. Great. Wow, this is such a great club. But we haven't even gotten inside yet. Oh, we never go inside. Maxwell Sheffield, I would like to see you, please. I'll be right back. You know, Val, there are a lot of cute guys here. I know, Fran. Guys, I would like you to meet Leslie. So important that you have to show me. Hello. Oh gosh, it's multiplying. Mama. Yeah. Hi, friend. Mama. Hi, Brighton. How was school? Wonderful. So much to learn. <laughs> Bye, Ma. I have to go be a nanny. Yes, Miss Fry. Looks like somebody cut gym class today. I exactly know what a sweaty man smells like. I'm gonna go talk to that Brighton. Brighton Sheffield, young man, you cut class today. I am very disappointed in you. I had to say that in case the intercoms were on. Honey, what's your problem? Never mind, you will never understand. Honey, my homeroom was McDonald's. Come on, let's deal with it. Even if I grow another foot, I'll be still smaller than the other guys. Another foot? What kind of school is this? Well, it was different in grade school. Fifth graders feared me. I'm in junior high, waiting for a walking wedgie. Oh, now I get the picture. They're all bigger than you. Yeah? Sweetie, you're only 12. Most boys don't shoot up after their bar mitzvah. Fran, I'm not getting bar mitzvahed. Oh, I hope they would work. <laughs> Honey, one day you'll be a senior. 
and you are gonna be bigger than most of those kids. Oh, you remember how they felt that day? You'll see a puny seventh grader, and you'll give him a little shove. Oh, thanks, Fran. Wait, one more question. When you said this, I can handle. What did you mean? What you can handle? Waiting for someone. Ah, nah, you old. You scared me. You should put a bell around your neck. Oh, it's eleven o'clock. He has to go to work tomorrow. Oh, you said you should have fun, Mister Sheffield. Well, that was nine o'clock. Eleven o'clock is. I don't need another kid to take care of. And is there someone she reminds you of? Oh, shh, stop yapping! Here he comes. Niles, who is it? Oddly enough, Mister Sheffield. Back so soon? Yep. Did you have a good time? Well, she was pleasant enough. You didn't like her? Well, there was some certain thing about her. So you didn't like her? Well, she was missing something. It's like ordering champagne and ginger ale, but they look the same, but they don't taste the same. Well, her boss was English, handsome, rich. You know, she's got a couple of kids. She could learn with that. Well, maybe next time, Miss Fine. I want to thank you for what? For getting me out of the world. Well, it may not be Leslie, but at least I don't have to live the rest of my life alone. Yeah, Mr. Sheffield. Well, good night. Night. Pleasant dreams, Miss Fine. Well, if I'm lucky enough, I'll probably have the one about the unicorn. Night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share to all of your friends. Bye. Have a good night.